Okay, so I tried doing this problem uh, and uh, recording the video as I do, but the internet got stuck. Uh, so I didn't get a live uh, recording, but I will, however, got, I want to rewrite it, but I'll go ahead and explain. So we are given the velocity function, and the first question is asking for uh, the initial acceleration. Well, I know that the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity dv over dt. I have the velocity function, so I take d over dt of the velocity function. Uh, this is the my velocity function that I have down here. So I took the derivative of this. And uh, v0 is just a constant, so there is no derivative for that. The derivative of the second term is minus d over dt kx. K is a constant, so dx over dt is just v. So if I need the initial acceleration, this will just be a0 equal minus kv0. So now the question becomes, what is k? And for that, I have some initial conditions that I can invoke. The question said that at t equals 0, or, or it starts, uh, yeah, it, it said uh, when you go in at 4 inches, you come to rest, you come to rest. So that means v will be 0 when x is 4 inches. So I plugged in 0 for v. I'm given the initial velocity to be 900. And uh, 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 4 inches, I can change that to feet so that the units are consistent. So I can divide by 12. Uh, solving for k here, uh, I get 2,700. Second to the minus 1 is the units for k. So now I can plug this back into the acceleration. A0 is minus kv0. I have v0, 900. I calculated k to be minus 2,700. So we get this for the A0 meter per second squared. The second question asked for time so that the projectile will penetrate 3.9 inches. So I'm given information on the distance. Well, I know this is uh, uh, my v. Uh, I know that this v is just dx over dt in my original equation, called v0 minus kx. I can separate the variables, integrate to find t, which I did. So I divided both sides by v0 minus kx, multiplied both sides by dt, and then I inserted the integrals afterwards. And now I'm integrating from 0 because that's from this, that's, it goes from here, so I'm starting t equals 0 right here at x equals 0, this is x, and then it goes to 3.9, so that's 3.9 over 12 to change it to feet, equals 0 to t. Uh, I've um, uh, introduced a dummy variable of integration t prime, so that it's different from one of the bounds of integration. And if I integrate the left side of this equation, well, uh, there's an x in the denominator, so that's just ln, the denominator, divided by the chain rule, which is the derivative of v0 minus kx with respect to x, which is just minus k. Uh, if you're, uh, you, could, you could use substitution and call the denominator u if you want to see the longer version of this integration. But it's a fairly straightforward integration. And I evaluate it from 0 to 3.9 over 12. Equals the right-hand side will just get you t. So first, uh, so this would be the answer. I plugged in my V0, 900. My K is 2,700X over negative 2,700. And then I evaluated the upper bound first. So I plugged in 3.9 over 12 for X minus uh, plug in 0 for X. And you get this. Carry this over on the calculator and you get T to be, zero, to be 0 0.001366 seconds. So it takes this much time for the lock, for the projectile to penetrate straight 3.9 inches into the uh, material. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and uh, uh, comment.